Hello and welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to see how to create this title animation in Adobe After Effects. We are going to use a third party plugin which is a 100% free plugin from Video Copilot Saber. I will provide the link for the plugin in the description down below. Let's get started. First of all create a new composition I am going to call it as main. I am choosing full HD composition with the frame rate of 24 and a duration of 6 seconds. Create a new text layer and type in your text. Design your text as you wish. Choose a bold font and align it to the center of the composition. Input all the project files. And bring in the metal texture into the timeline. Scale it to the size of your text. And change the track mat of the texture to alpha mat text layer. Now select these two layers and pre-compose them. Make sure you click on move all attributes. I am naming it as metal text. Now duplicate this metal text layer and go to the effect controls and search for fill effect and apply it into the duplicated layer. Change the fill color to black and again search for bevel alpha effect from the effects panel and apply it into the same duplicated layer. Set the edge thickness to 8.5 the light intensity all the way up to 1. Now change the blending mode to add. Duplicate this layer and go to the layer menu and choose auto trace. With the default settings, click OK. Now search for saber effect from the FX panel and apply it into the trace to text layer. Change the preset to arc reactor and the glow spread to 0.6, glow bias to 0.3 and core size to 0.5. In the customize score, Change the code type to layer masks. At the start of the timeline, create keyframes for mask evolution, start size and end size. Change the start size to 0 and also the end size to 0. Change the end offset value to 50 and go to the end of the timeline and change the mask evolution to 2. Change the start size to 50% and the end size to 200%. Now in the render settings, change the composite settings to transparent. Now duplicate this layer one more time and change the preset to energize. Change the glow color to something related to blue and change the glow spread, glow bias and core size values according to your wish. Now again duplicate this layer and change the preset to fuel. I am changing the glow color to something reddish. And also I am changing the glow intensity to 50%. These values change on each and everyone's choice. So choose your values according to your wish. Now at the start of the timeline, change the mask evolution to 180 degrees and at the end of the timeline, change the mask evolution value again to 180 degrees. Now again duplicate this text layer and change the Preset to energize and also change the spread bias and size values according to your wish. Change the end offset value of the last duplicated layer and the second duplicated layer to 25 percentage. Again these values change according to your wish. I feel that the effect is too much so I am reducing the end offset value to 25% for the for these two layers. Now let's ramp review this. Ah that's looking good. Now 
Now select all these layers and pre-compose them. I am naming it as server text. Make sure you click on move all attributes. Now import the particles file into the timeline and duplicate it. Search for hue saturation effect and apply it into the duplicated particles file. Change the master hue value and try to match the color with the glow color of the text. Change the blending mode to add and I am also offsetting the duplicated particles file. Also change the scale values randomly, I am changing it to 120%. Change the opacity value of the particle files to 70% and again these values are all all you wish, you can choose your own values. Bring in the fog file into the timeline, change the blend mode of the particle file to add. Scale the fog file to the composition and search for tint effect and apply it into the fog file. Change the map white to color to that of the particle file. Set the opacity value to around 60%. Duplicate this fog file once more and change the tint color to another color of the text. Bring up the rotation property and change the value to 180 degrees. Go to the effects and presets panel and search for optics compensation effect and apply it into the saber text. At the 3 second mark, create a keyframe for field of view. Click on the reverse lens distortion checkbox and also optimal pixels. Go to the start of the timeline, change the field of view value all the way up to 180. Again go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur effect and apply it into the same saber text layer. Same way at the 3 second mark, create a keyframe for blurriness and also click on the repeat edge pixels checkbox. Go to the start of the timeline and change the blurriness value to 25. Create a new camera. You can choose whatever preset. Change the saber text to 3D layer. Now create a new null object and parent the camera to the null object. At the 3 second mark, create a keyframe for position of the null object. I forgot to make the null object 3D layer. Make the null object 3D layer and create a keyframe for position. At the end of the timeline, decrease the position value to somewhere around 800 minus 800. And at the start of the timeline, set the value to 2700. So let's ramp review this. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you learn something. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I post new videos. Thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching. This is Rautran signing off.